Novick, but Carl Valentine intercepts. Four of them up inside the goal area. To Ray Hennigan, he hits it, it's in! It's in! A fine goal! The Whitecaps lead it 1-0. Here's that play again. You see the speed of Valentine. Goes down the right wing, crosses over. He has two men to pass to. Both Hankin and Weimark were there. And there's the header right into the corner. Platt, the goalkeeper, no chance whatsoever. Trevor Weimark with Ray Hankin. The two of them were there, and it was Weimark that got his head on it. He's tripped. If it's in the box, it'll be a penalty kick, but it is not. It is just outside that line. That, uh, Val that Valentine is lying on. If it had been inside Jeff Cross, it would have been a penalty kick. Right on the line. You'll see the ball there and the, and the little left foot tackle there by Paul Power. Valentine's all right. It's, it. it's a 2 0 lead as the White Caps cash in. By Mark again. This time from Alan Ball's free kick. Trevor Weimark, number nine for the White Caps, inside of. About six minutes have scored two goals for the Vancouver Whitecaps. And there goes Weimark climbing up high above all the defenders. Flat throws his right arm out and it goes to his left. It's 2-0 two two for the Whitecaps and we'll have more Transatlantic Challenge Cup soccer in just a We're expecting a crowd of somewhere around 25 to 26,000 to see this match, which is pretty good for a 30,000 seat facility on a rainy night. As Carl Valentine goes one-on-one -on -one once again. And his header is in! It's in! Carl Valentine! And Ray Hankin has combined once again. Just a superb play. And is ever going to have to pick player of the match tonight? Valentine or Weimark, maybe candidates. And there again, you see the great speed, the great speed of Valentine doing it all and all the tricks. Finds the head of Hankin. And Hankin, uh, Valentine is certainly burning the Manchester City left side defense. They've had uh, power on him mostly, and Stepanovic has been coming over a few times. But that great speed of Carl Valentine, 21 years of age. Ball. That was ball to Jerry Gray. It's a one and one with David Bennett. Jerry Gray running down in the middle. A shot. A what a fine play by Trevor Weimark to convert the pass of Jerry Gray. Alan Ball started it all. Up to Jerry Gray. The young lad made a fine run onto the boot of Trevor Weimark for his third goal of the night. And the deal said all came about. A great pass by Alan Ball to Jerry Gray, the 18-year-old, overlapping down the left, across into the middle, found the boot of Trevor Weimark, took a second, and threw the legs of goalkeeper John Platt. Well, I tell you, I don't really want to fault anybody on that goal with the conditions under the circumstances. John Platt won't be feeling any... Onto Alan Ball now. Out here on the side to Carl Valentine. Carl Valentine with... Steve Kember. Steve Kember was spaced to knock it in the box. He does. Oh, a fine shot of five feet. He scored. He scored. Bob Lenuzzi. Manchester City, disorganized on the back, pays the price as the Vancouver Whitecaps lock in their own rebound. Here comes the play again. Across from Kember. Weimark gets the shot away, the rebound, and there's Bob Lenuzzi sending the goalkeeper the wrong way, and it's 5 nothing. Pre-game comments from Coach Bob McNabb as he ponders a 5-0 lead included the fact 